Hector Edward Harris's Wonder Machine. Written and performed by Marshmallow. It was raining and raining and raining and pouring. Hector Edward Harris was stuck inside. Gosh, was it boring. He was staying the weekend with Grandpa and Nana. He would give anything to be out of this weather. Nana was baking and Grandpa was sleeping. So all round the house Hector went sneaking. Under the table and under the chairs, he followed the cat to the top of the stairs. Then a strange golden light shone down from the attic. It went up to the roof, like some kind of ladder. There in the corner was an old dusty box with old scraggly writing saying, Warning! Don't touch! But it was so tempting being told what not to do. So Hector looked inside and his excitement, it grew. A mysterious machine with buttons and dials and a red blinking light that shone right in his eyes. Now, no boy on earth can resist such a thing. Hector pushed the red button and a bell went ping. Hector was smart and wasn't easy to frighten, but the room started spinning with streaks of blue lightning. The cat was startled and he held on to her tight. Without further ado, they disappeared in a flash of light. A giant blue whale greets them both with its daughter. Hector and the cat are now underwater. Vibrant bright corals and schools of fish in motion glisten and sparkle as they float in the ocean. The mystery machine is now caught in a bubble, flashing alarms to get them out of their trouble. With a push of a switch, the sea disappears. Now Hector and Pussy are miles in the air. Floating beneath the most golden balloon, the Amazon, a jungle in the light of the moon. Hector can't believe they are so high in the sky. The cat is spellbound by a thousand butterflies. Where in the world would the machine take them next? Hector closes his eyes as the button is pressed. Giant sunflowers, they bend in the breeze. They sing to each other in French and Chinese. Huge fuzzy bumblebees, heavy with honey, bomb Hector and Pussy as they both run for mummy. One of the bees hits the machine and it crashes. The cabinet busts on the ground as it smashes. With a glitch and a whistle, the machine leaps into life. They land in a desert blazing with light. The sun, it is burning. The camels are grumpy. There's no drinking water and something else is funny. A shadowy figure races out of the east. He's racing to catch them and steal their machine. Who is this stranger? What does he want? There's no time to argue as the machine goes kerplunk. Time's moving faster as the machine starts to break. Hector and Pussy are now drifting in space. The stars and the galaxies whirl overhead. They land on a planet that's entirely bright pink. The hills are meringue and the rivers are chocolate. Candy floss grass feeds marshmallow elephants. They come to a city only up to their knees, with tiny green people who greet them with glee. They worship the pussy and Hector as giants, blinding them both with their far future science. But in the night sky, the stranger he flees, shooting towards them in a rocket of cheese. Hector is homesick and gets no warmth from this sun. He thinks of his nana, his dad and his mum. All these adventures are fine overall, but with no one to share them, what's the point of it all? The stranger draws closer and writes in the air. 
Hector, we've lost you. We need you back here. In a flash, Hector knows who's been on their tail. It's Grandpa who found them, searching without fail. Frantically, Hector pulls a lever and switch. The machine has other thoughts, making an ominous tick. They spiral and spin and rocket around. The cat's feeling seasick and there's a horrible sound. Just when they think it's all going to be over, Grandpa flies in with a tiny screwdriver. The house, it has grown closer far too quick until a giant parachute pops out with a click. They land on the lawn and the whole family's there. The sun has come out with a picnic to share. Hector and Pussycat run across the grass and say loudly and proudly, we're home at last. You won't believe where we have been, travelling with Hector Edward Harris's Wonder Machine. Hector Edward Harris's Wonder Machine, written and performed by Marshmallow. If you'd like to hear more music and stories by Marshmallow, please go to www.marshmallow.co.nz. We'd love to see you there. Hector Edward Harris, Wonder Machine. It's the maker of magic and wonderful things. Hector Edward Harris, Wonder Machine. The most marvelous thing that you've ever seen. Take a trip around the world or a flight around the sun. Dive deep in the ocean or cuddle with mom. Yeah. Hector Edward Harris, Wonder Machine. The most marvelous thing that you've ever seen. Wonder Machine, it's the maker of magic and wonderful things, yeah. Hector Edward Harris, Wonder Machine, the most marvelous thing that you